Welcome to Vectorsoft series of tutorials on how to use the Z directory. In this lesson, number three, we're going to cover RSA encryption. Lesson two, we covered a ROT13, a very simple byte rotation, which is not really encryption uh, in any modern sense. And what we're, we're going to do, instead of typing in the code, I'm going to basically copy uh, from the lesson two ROT13 source code and modify it for RSA and you'll see that there's going to, there's very little differences in the interfaces uh, the member function signatures on uh, everything is almost identical and uh, here's the final output for RSA and we're going to put that in where we're going to get to this from uh, from this Right, here I have the source code in a Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 project file. Uh, it's the same source code from t lesson tutorial number two, ROT13 encryption. And once again, the settings for the project have been set for the Z, the Z directory. The header files now point to ZDIR includes. And the libraries that you need to link to are in zdir devlibs and these environment variables are automatically set for you when you install the z directory the libraries that you need to use to link to will be the layer 0 1 and 2 z directory libraries so this project is uh, ready to go but now we're going to change it for rsa rsa is called pair crypt in the Z directory context because it uses a pair of uh, passwords, a public key and a private key. So let's change pair crypt and let's use XRSA instead of XROT. So let me do these changes. And you'll see there's very little changes I need to do in this code. Now, we won't print the output because uh, RSA output will, will almost look like binary code. So, I don't want to give you a headache. And also, the password, well, actually, the data block and the passwords will have to change. First of all, the data block has to be a multiple of 10. Instead of using, this is my secret message, I added a dot one two three four in order to pad this out to 30 characters. Also, I'm going to have the public key and private key. I'm going to put these in pound defines. And as you notice, that these keys are not something you can really memorize. Maybe unless you're Rain Man. These are machine generated keys and how you get these keys you can do this also via the Z directory. There's some additional functions that we added to the uh, paracrypt object class and this is what the in the header file zcrypt.h what it looks like. So if you notice in the middle there's a set keys and we'll use set keys instead of set key for setting the passwords. Uh, Okay, so after we do the encryption with SIN, string variable, to, we'll write it to SOT, use that as the input for the decrypt call, and put the final output in S2, and then we'll, just like we did with ROT13, compare the two strings. Now let's see if this thing compiles. Okay, so now let's get a console window and run this. And the first thing you can see is the input block size is 10, output block size is 11. Why those numbers exist I really I can't tell you. I'm not an encryption cipher math expert. I'm a C++ framework system programmer. So uh, 
even though I've worked on the code uh, for this. And the round trip from encryption to decryption matches, but this is some real encryption. RSA is a serious uh, modern encryption algorithm in asymmetrical encryption. Now let's add some code to generate some keys uh, after this encrypt decrypt section. So now what I'm doing, I'm setting up two string objects, pub key and priv key. And you'll notice that there's two static functions that we're calling, set generator and generate keys. Generate keys will write the output to pub key and priv key. Those are references and they're output variables. The parameters to set generator, I have a hard time explaining it to you. I can tell you that the first one has to be smaller than the second one and greater than zero. And the last one is an accuracy variable. And it defaults to 90. I can't really explain any more. Like I said, ask, ask a uh, encryption expert. And if the generate keys fails, we'll print an error message. If it succeeds, we'll dump the keys out. And let's see what this looks like. And once again on the console, and the last two lines, we've got a public key and a private key. If you run this again, you'll notice that you'll have a different pair of public and private keys. So uh, there's probably a random number generator involved in there. But this way, uh, you can you can generate lots and lots of RSA key pairs. That's RSA. That's how you use RSA. We've made the uh, usage as simple as possible and we've standardized it so that the same functions with the same signatures can be used for um, all the different uh, encryption algorithms available in the Z directory which include AES, DES, uh, our own and a couple of others. Alright, thanks for uh, joining and be sure to download the Z directory at www.vetrasoft.com, V-E-T-T-R-A-S-O-F-T.com if you haven't done so already.